No, it's been a while. Um, kind of just been not into it, but today, this week starts like all the major cleanup. So just give an update on how everything's sitting, the stuff I'm doing. Um, a couple ideas that popped in my head too, as I was doing this. And having young boys, man, they make stuff dirty. I, these, these piles, hi dog. These piles were triple the size, but what's cool about them is that I've got peach plants or peach trees that are growing that I'm gonna dig out and put in pots. And if I can sell them, I'll sell them. This is the best year for the fig tree as far as growth. We didn't get a lot of figs and they're not ready yet, but it's setting its roots and it's gonna be, you know, good. Same thing with these two peach trees. Um, I actually pulled the fruit off of all those, but, and then here, this peach tree was our big producer this year. And then uh, a bunch of the mint got pulled down. But like, I was thinking from a water storage perspective, cause we just got a big storm that rolled through. And so I've got my two 275s right there off the roof. Um, and then when we just pulled the pool down, but by happenstance, I look over and I'm like, I need to purchase like five or 10 tarps. Um, that worst case scenario, I can dig a hole in the ground, lay the tarp in there, and it can be an extra water collection. Um, but in the garden, we still have a little bit of tomatoes going. Um, I actually broke my bow out, started shooting, because we bought a uh, baseball squid a bow, so we've been doing that together. Still have some peppers. Uh, this tomato's doing well. The uh, Now it's getting cooler. This kale is going to explode. Um, nothing in here. I hate eggplant. I don't know why I can't grow it. Um, so if anybody has any ideas, uh, the grapevines are gonna get those sticks to grow up and eventually I'm gonna put a trellis in. Um, there's one small pepper plant right here which is gonna be every year. Most of what you see in the beds right now is done, except for we gotta dig peppers or dig potatoes up. Um, and then I'll pull all of the irrigation and I'll flame weed all of this. We're still getting a ton of peppers, but we've had some nights down to like 48. So it's, it's going to get close real soon for these guys to start dying off, but they really have enjoyed the heat and just tons and tons of peppers and they're delicious. Um, once they go dormant, I'll be pruning all the trees as well. So the apple trees, we actually, there's one apple left in the tree and I picked it and uh, baby squid like went to town on an apple like we've never seen him go to town on an apple. So that was pretty cool. Got a couple of things, herbs. I'm probably going to cover them because I want to try to keep them for next year. Um, and then had a little bit of a fallout here, but it's all kind of a part of the plan. I'm going to fix it and put it back. Um, but basically, there you go, that's a better shot. Basically, the idea is I'm building the soil up to a point where I can knock all these boards down and I just have natural raised beds. So they're just serving as guides right now. Um, that's a weed of something. No, that's... Is that basil? It's, look at it. No, that's not basil. So, anywho, that's kind of where we're at. I'll give you a better shot of the irrigation. I'm hopefully going to be flame weeding everything today. And uh, I've got to do one fix on uh, the dump system. So, put another screw or two in that. Um, but these things have been working great. And I love the proximity to the garden. If we ever have a, you know, flag going up situation and we lose services like water, um, one of the things I put on it is a spigot on the end. So me or anybody else could fill up uh, a bucket and come over and bring it to the garden. So it's kind of where we're at. Sorry it's been delayed, but I just haven't been into it lately. <laughs>